Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to um, my uh, vlogs. We're just in the kitchen here. Uh, I've just put um, just come in now, and uh, we're hoping to do some ploughing this afternoon for the rest of this afternoon. Uh, I also had a quick phone call to take, and uh, they said the store wants the truck back uh, tomorrow, by tomorrow, so I'm going to unload that quickly, because I've still got the key. So this truck is what they mean. So I just need to quickly change a few things. Make sure those connections are alright. Yeah. Let's see if the right one goes. Through. There we go. Start up. Now I've got the drone charging in the house quickly. Uh, Oh, the batteries of the drone charging. So we can get a bit of drone footage from the uh, tractor. A bit of outside footage. Right, so uh, I've just pulled that in so it's easier for them to take it away. Uh, and uh, they're prob I think they're going to come around and take it tomorrow. So, yeah. Now, uh, I, I also uh, had a few unread messages while we were trying to upright the plow and truck and uh, one of them which uh, was uh, from a local man from this town who said uh, he's got a son and daughter who are very into farming and uh, like he, he asked if it was going to be alright if they Possibly come down and help, really. Uh, and uh, of course, I couldn't say no because we do need help because I've got to get all these fields ploughed. Uh, you prob and uh, I was thinking you're probably wondering why there is no combine. Uh, but I'll just quickly plough at the same time. Uh, I've got a combine on order. But they told me it's not coming until at least tomorrow. And uh, the store don't have that truck right now. So the forestry company guy, uh, or the guy who owns that place, uh, has said um, that they're going to send one person out and... Uh, they're gonna go and get them to get the combine or well they're gonna give me that truck again at least so we can go and get the combine uh, I'm not sure what the plan is uh, I will update you tomorrow though uh, or the next day when next vlog from here so the tracks 
plows already. Uh, just going to jump in the driver's side. Start the engine. Uh, I'm not sure which ones now again. Okay, so that's the plow. We're plowing. Yeah, we're plowing. Uh, now. Uh, I've asked around, uh, there's some um, local farm, the next farm, in the next, um, sort of town area, uh, to ask what the soil's like, uh, in this area, and, uh, they've told me, um, it's not, it's sort of, it's not clay soil, uh, he wasn't sure what soil it was, but um, he said it's not too bad for growing stuff here, but it could be better because um, apparently uh, quite a lot of um, the uh, of the uh, construction work for local railway line, which goes around the air edge. Uh, that apparently uh, caused a, a lot of work around here, so that's why it's it's particularly this field that he wasn't too concerned. And quite a lot of the piping work had to go through under the fields because um, they didn't want to close the road, so it's sort of quite stony. I'm gonna go up this way, actually. Uh, probably be better. So, don't wanna go in the bush, don't wanna plow up that bush. Come on! Come on, tractor! Now, I was told the horsepower, uh, it's 210 horsepower, apparently, uh, but the hours were reset and apparently had done quite a few hours um, where it used to be working. And uh, they've told me it's probably gone down a little bit, so they told me it's probably gone down, well, the horsepower's probably gone down. A little bit. I think they said it's only about 205 now. Uh, we will cultivate this as well. And uh, I also got an email uh, from the uh, the forestry people and they said um, if you need any emergency money uh, just come to them and uh, you can possibly come and do some work for us which I think is very decent of them quite friendly of them uh, and for those of you who don't know my name uh, my name is Dan and uh, we own the old stream farm now. I'm gonna get a few outside footage now, so.
I'm just gonna go around the edge again and uh, apparently the two kids I should say children should I kid um people well uh when I said some uh a man who had a son and daughter who were into farming and he asked me if um they could come and help uh I just said yes uh they're coming tomorrow I uh, told that they can come tomorrow uh and uh well this field's probably not going to be finished today for for a while at least uh, so they can come and help out they, um with uh, a bit of work because uh I'm, they might do a bit of seeding because i've got to get some crops in uh, but I've also got to um, go and get this new combine. Apparently, it's apparently speaking, being delivered to. I think they mentioned it was going to be delivered to the biogas plant. Uh, this soil is quite rocky. To be honest, uh, we will break it up. But I don't want to get a puncture, so that's why I'm going to slowly. And so I can actually hold the camera at the same time. Uh, if you're wondering where we're filming this from, uh, I'm actually got a video recording camera, sort of like proper camera, proper camera camera, uh, which I'm recording this from in my tractor. So that's why I'm trying to hold the camera, and that's why I'm also going really slowly. But I might might do most of this off screen. Probably take a picture because um, uh, thumbnails are good for getting views on videos, so I'm just gonna quickly take a thumbnail pic. Right, so um, the plan is, well, I'm, my plan is just to try and continue going um, like what I'm doing right now, which is to go up this way, go down that way, uh, then go up that, this way, and then I'll cross the top, and then down again, until most likely Fat bits end it, and we'll keep doing that until um, we've reached that corner, so we don't continuously crash into the fence again, uh, and then we can just go up and down. So that's fine. I'm just gonna have a look at the soil actually, see what the Telling us about. Yeah, there's a couple of stones in here. That's not a stone, that's an old rotten potato. potato. Um, yeah, he did. Yeah, it is quite stony. So. I know what he means now. Uh, got quite a bit of rubble in. I guess 
the um, if we get the cultivator in here, I think it'll be perfectly fine. Afterwards. Now the payment for um, these uh, this equipment is going. We're going to uh, pay for all of it after the, we've brought the combine back. So basically, when the combine arrives, and uh, I've been given a price, and um, it's apparently good. well this tractor. Um, is probably well, well the combine is the most expensive part there, um, but uh, apparently it's going to cost around a hundred thousand. I haven't been given an exact price, um, but uh, it's also going to cost around a hundred thousand. I've also been uh, busy as well, uh, sorting out a few things. Uh, we just need to pop. We've ordered all the food. Uh, well, orders ordered a bit of food because uh, um, we. Uh, oh well, I. Before I moved out of where where I used to live, um, we, well, I just got uh, I didn't order any food, new food, so we just got I rid of any gone off food and or. Um, Bad food, or but and uh, we just uh, I just ate the rest of it, or and bought some here. Uh, so I've got some cereal, uh, a bit of fruits, some coffee, uh, and a bit of um, other food. So. Uh, we're going to have a food delivery at some point. Uh, we'll have to go and get some food because I don't. Well, I we can order. If if I did mention we have ordered, uh, I haven't actually, because uh, I just remembered. So we're going to see how much there is. Now, if you're wondering what the um, small box thing is in the corner, in the bottom corner, that is um, sort of like a thing where you can literally 
been installed in pretty much any tractors these days. But um, apparently, uh, it uh, sort of drive makes the dri tractor drive itself on a route. So we might have a go at that. With that, uh, possibly just around the place and uh, see what that does. Or it calls somebody out to come and drive. Please. Apparently it's a new thing around here, or at least around here. The biggest nearby place um, right now, I believe, is a uh, quite a big town, a uh, port town called Felsbrunn. Uh, it's about 20, 25 miles south of here. Uh, we're currently in the north, well, midwest, I would say, of uh, Germany. And, uh, it's sort of on a river on an estuary which flows into I believe the North Sea or something uh, but Felsbrunn is the uh, nearby port town I think that's where most of the stuff for pretty much anywhere is imported or comes from Ooh, I just remembered something. I forgot to mention this. Uh, the uh, well, basically, the uh, I can't remember. The local dealership uh, has said um, to us that. Uh, They are getting quite a big order of um, new parts, and uh, they would um, well, basically, uh, they were just wondering if um, we needed a bit of new parts because um, this tractor, I uh, had a look at the, I haven't had looked at the engine yet, but apparently. Uh, it needs a few little bits of place change, I think. Because either the oil filter or something uh, is starting to get quite old. Uh, I reckon. So. On the internet, where I looked, on the site I looked at this tractor for on. Um, it said, um, it did say uh, parts needed possible uh, replacements or something. I can't remember what it exactly said. Uh, and uh, when I came, when I went to view it, because I went to view this tractor, um, try it out, and uh, the guy said um, he's replaced 
think he said he said he replaced the spark plugs. He had replaced the spark plugs. Um, and uh, he'd also replaced pretty much everything which goes through the engine. So he'd taken up, replaced the oil. Um, And uh, the fuel, because he said it's it, it, this thing had been sitting in a shed for a couple of months, because uh, they weren't u that farm wasn't using it much. Um, but uh, he said uh, that some other parts might need replacing, and. Uh, when the uh, guy had delivered it down to the grain mill he said that he'd had a look and uh, the oil filter will need replacing soon so the store will get some parts and we can replace the oil filter uh, the person who sold I'm not sure if it was a guy or a girl who sold the um, uh, God. Hop over this. No, we're gonna have to go around. Can't get over it. Uh, I think it was somebody who didn't need it anymore for some reason. Uh, they said they didn't need the forest trip. I think. I can't even say the name of it. I'm not even think. I don't think I'm even saying it right. But they said they didn't need it uh, anymore, and uh, we were going to get a bell spike with it. But they said uh, when they found it, because they'd left it out, they put this in a shed, and they left the bell spike outside. It was pretty much a pile of pretty much well. A, a pile of rust shaped, excuse me, uh, like a uh, bale spike. So it's pretty much completely rusted away. Not be near. Danger. But uh, I'm just gonna leave that plowing there because um, I I want the. Uh, Children to have a go, or children to have a go at the um, ploughing. Uh, I've been told uh, that one is 14 and one is 13 or 12. I can't remember exactly. I think they're 12 because it makes sense. Oh, I, I'm not sure. I'll update you on that one uh, at some point. Uh, but yeah, I guess we've got to leave this block here. Block here. So um, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed uh, this video. Uh, I've also been asked to say, uh, please, can you comment down below? Um, any other things you'd like to see in this farm? Uh, I've also been asked uh, to also probably possibly get some other animals because I have been considering getting other animals, and uh, it's most likely going to be sheep. So, or you could decide. The viewers could decide, like what animals we'd have. Uh, but apparently it's quite expensive because, uh, well, the place who sells it uh, is a privately owned place. But anyway, um, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.